<laughs> well, here we go. You can lay back down now. I mean, you can put your head back down. Talking to the dog. Gonna miss you. <laughs> well, gonna be uh, on the road again. On the road again. Well, actually, not globally because <laughs> they're not letting Americans in no place. I don't know. I still have to. I talked to my wife yesterday, but we didn't, we didn't check what South Africa is doing. But I know for sure Canada is still closed. I'm supposed to take a trip to Canada at the end of the year. You know, take that, that train ride I always wanted to take from uh, Vancouver to, uh, to Toronto. But, you know, Canada is not letting anybody in right now. Well, not letting Americans in. I know that for sure. Because we are just what we are. <laughs> Ah, some mango juice. Pure mango juice. I think it's pure, yeah. What does it say? What does it say here? See, I always use mango blend. It says, but it's, it's mango puree, organic apple juice, and organic lemon juice. That's it! <laughs> Gotta be pure. But if you was purely American, they ain't gonna let you in. <laughs> no place on the planet. Let me put this down here. Yeah, but at least I get, I go to New York first. I got to take care of some whole kind of business. South African Embassy, the VA, who knows what else? Oh, whatever, the air, whatever. Kenya Air, I don't know what's happening with those people. You know what I mean? They probably take my money. They want to give it back. Um, what kinds of things? But at least then I go visit my my grand nephew. You know, part of the people's guy right here. You know, I saw him. He got with the little, you know how the modern world is. He's got a lot of hair now. I hope they don't cut it. I don't think they're going to cut it. His father got locked, so let's see what they're going to do. Hmm. Okay, so this is my last report from this setup right now. I might get back here in December, but who knows what's going to, who knows, who knows, you know? So um, just some reflective thoughts about my little time here in Missouri. I've been here since since July, since my birthday, because I always travel on my birthday. So right, July, or July, it's the earlier, July, July 3rd, July, August, September, three months. We're in the middle of October. Three and a half months I've been here. Mm. But, you know, because of deliveries and everything, got a lot of books. Well, not a lot of books. Got some books. But there's a lot of books here anyway. I wasn't reading these books here. I was reading other books. But I got, I got into, well, not really a lot, because I ain't got no money like that. You know what I mean? But I got that, you know, the delivery, like, like I got some masks. I got the last outlaw masks over there. I got this one I really like. Blacky, black, black, black. You know, I got it when I travel really when I'm traveling for real when I get to go to Canada and get the other kind of mask where you get the um, uh, they get the filters but the best filter is that blue towel kind of thing you know the or what do they call it the whatever towel that, that you get it from from the hardware stores and so those, those I could put that in don't worry about it you know but here's another mask I got vote it matters you know plus I got a big foot mask over there Social distancing, man. No joke. But let's let's reflect on the voting thing. And I've been involved in my voting strategy because last time I was last what was it year before last, whenever it was what is this, what, what year are we in right now? <laughs> twenty twenty. Okay, two thousand eighteen. When I voted in Virginia, then I had the privilege of writing in a DOS. You know what I mean? Because what happens if you're in a solidly blue state or solidly red state? And you know it's going to go some way. Then, and plus, there's not a whole lot of ADOS people. I mean, when I say a whole lot, that's not going to swing some sort of election someplace. So I like to register. You know, I vote in ADOS just to practice. You know, what I mean, hey, this is nice. You know, plus, it's, remember, voting is not just voting. It's act actually an official. It's called polling. It's a polling place. It's an official poll. You, you know what I'm saying? It goes into the, the records forever. You know, so when they take these uh, little, when they take these. Q Trust poll or whatever, New York Times poll, whatever it is, Washington Post poll, exit polls. I'll oh, forget that. You know, you can lie to them. But your vote, that's a real poll. And later on when historians, I've been reading a lot of some historians too. Later on when historians come around, they can look at that and say, hey, this is the true thing. Not just what this, you know, this thing was paid off, however they they get these, you know, they only talk to people who got telephones or whatever they, they do, you know. So, so, so voting is actually important, not just for voting. Everybody thinks you're voting in some, some, oh, by the time they get to be president or presidential level or the senator level or the Congress level, they've been bought, poured off, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so you went over vote down ballot, right? So, but since, since then I've been evolving, right? So first thing, uh, cause I just wrote in ADOS the last time, right? 
but now I was listening to, was listening to you know, I listen to that all the time, you know, uh, Breaking Brown, right? And uh, call a call in, say you should, you should write in www.ados101.com. Hey, that's good. I'll write that in. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're, okay, let me, let me, okay. If you're in a solidly blue state or a solidly red state, then you can write in whatever you want because it ain't going to make no difference. You see, so that's when you want the poll in there. Now, like I vote in Virginia, so that's like a swing state. Hey, so you know, hey, I say, hey, pay me, <laughs> pay, pay me for my vote. No, I'm not going to do that. But unfortunately, what, fortunately, unfortunately, I cannot vote for Biden no matter what. So Biden and the Democrats, it's like they, they've been, been trained too much, you know. They had first of all when 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 uh what's that guy A Bean was mayor he's the one that got rid of S all the SROs and then threw the, the the I guess between him and Koch I guess whoever it was they threw all the, the the homeless out on the street and whatever have you so that messed like my brother being one well, that messed that up and of course the whole uh, Biden and the, and the prison system my younger brother died in prison in ninety ninety six whatever. So that's that's off the table. You could just forget that. But Kamala Harris, the one two, pff, Kamala Harris, don't oh, she's Brahmin and Boulay? Nah, 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 nah. That's 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 off the table. I asked somebody one time recently. I said, I don't understand. You want you're against Trump? What has he ever done to you personally? And they couldn't answer. Trump. I mean, this is all <laughs> I know. The the the, the, the whatever the the militias or whatever the, 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 the people that are actually cowards they got guns but they ain't fighting nobody <laughs> he ain't gonna win no fights like that what do you think about he ain't started no wars I mean he continued some war with whatever he did whatever. but he ain't started no wars he ain't what was Trump really done he just <laughs> bullied people <laughs> it's amazing I'm going like oh why are you mad at Trump yeah, in fact, if any, did you do you realize the first, the first, the first, the 2016, whatever it is, Trump really never said anything against black people. I mean, check it out. He didn't say anything against black people. He jumped on the immigrants and a whole bunch of, you know, Mexicans and whatever. But when he got into office, that's when he started, you know, but even that was not black Americans, not his black people. It's kind of interesting. I'm not defending Trump. I ain't going to vote for Trump. All of, let me go back to the point I was making. So if you're in a solid race state or a blue state, you don't want to give the mandate, you don't want to give them the mandate of having the popular vote. Since you know it's going to go one way or the other, you don't want to use your vote. You want to write in something. Now, now I choose, I'm, I'm alternating between uh, www.ados101.com and www.producejustice.com. Produce Justice, Mr. Neely Fuller's, you know, site for the, his book and stuff like that. That's my personal, my personal code is Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., it helps a lot if you have a personal code because you don't get into beefs with people. You know, they, uh, you you got the VGQA, you know, the victims, you know, you know, what's the V? Victims G uh, uh, Guarantee Qual Q Qualification. However, he said that I got the book. I got the book all over the place. You know, what I mean? you know that's the opinion. And, you know, you that's okay. That's fine. You know, so I don't have any beef with that. Um, and plus, he just had these. Co when you listen to his code, is so interesting. It's just a personal code. It's individual anyway, so you don't have to really do it, right? So I got that. But then, uh, so I got those two. Then I was listening to event. What's what did it say? What day is today? I don't even know. It's COVID time. It's Tuesday. So last night I was listening to event, and uh, and a lady called in. She said she because you know we have this with, with ADOS at least we had this whole thing project takeover. And usually when you say project table, you're talking about like. Mm, so specifically, they say the NAACP. But think about it, Project Table would be anything. So the sister called in, and she's uh, um, operating in the Green Party. And you go like, yeah, it's a political party. It's got an infrastructure. You know, why well, deal with the Democrats and the corporates? They're going to go down anyway. Let's, let's start infiltrating. I won't, I won't say infiltrating. I'll say that. Sorry, hey, hey, take that back. Taking over the Green Party. Why not? You know, as you take over the NAACP and then you got to go a whole lot of lunches with that. Need a whole lot of those kind of people. Uh. Anyway, well, you, you understand what I'm saying. You can take over whatever you want to take over. This is very fascinating to me, right? And plus, if I wanted to, like, say say I'm in um, Virginia voting. I'm, I'm not going to vote for Trump. I'm not going to vote for Biden. Hey, and I don't just want to write in ABUS at the, the presidential thing. I vote green. Oh, I'm having a ball. Let me tell you, I'm having a ball. So anyway, so this kind of thing, I did a lot of reading, you know, a lot of thinking, you know, um, a lot of different kind of scenarios. Like um, I started, I have the uh, uh, the Brother and the Black Man series, which I particularly like, you know, well, weekly or whenever, 
whenever the brother decides to show up. I mean, well, the brother's showing up. I'm the brother. But the black man, sometimes he don't be showing up. He's a black man. You know what they do. <laughs> so sometimes we don't have. Usually we can put something have. But then I can. I have this other way of interviewing now over the two phones. Um, oh, oh, here's the most fascinating book by him, Missouri, because the guy had this trunk flare. Look, I'm a, I'm an archivist. I say archivist. I know he's supposed to say archivist, but pff, it's not, you know. But I loved, and I loved, and I interview. I mean, I've been interviewing since, I don't, pff, since the early 80s, right? So I was walking to see this guy with this trunk flag, right? So I started to talk to him. So I got a series of interviews with him, right? I even went to a Republican meeting. That was fascinating. Oh, that was fascinating, you know, and 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 there was there was some black, black people in there talking about it, taking over and infiltrating some black people in the Republican line too. Because Republicans got to they still got that little thing, whatever happened. In fact, again, one one of the guys going to probably going to win his thing, whatever he's running for, you know, the local thing. He's looking at me like not suspiciously, but you know, he gave me that who is this Negro, you know, another Negro, you know, in the in the thing. What's he going to be doing? You know what I mean? But I was just a guest to this guy. That this this guy, he was he was a Tea Partier, you know, and now he's a Trump, whatever it is. And then fascinating in, 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 in like uh, interviewing him and stuff like that. They always say the same thing. You can, you, you get him in a corner, and they 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 have to just repeat their points, you know. It's fascinating, you know. All I'm trying to say is like I'm having a good time. Election season, I'm having a grand time, you know. So let's see what happens. New York, I take the business, but then in Virginia, I'll be there for a while. Uh, maybe I'll try to go to some sort of political meeting. Maybe the Green Party. I don't know. Go to some sort of political meeting in, in Virginia right before the elections to see what's going on. I don't know. See what I, how I feel like. Because you know, I have transportation there. I drove around in an air like a, uh, one of those antique cars, you know, like a what is it, Mercedes SL 280, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Some old man. My old man had big antique Mercedes two-seated like that. You know, I go slow, right? Messing with the other driver. What can they say? Old man driving an antique car. <laughs> and I'm, and I ain't got, I, I, okay, I'm sorry. I can say I have fun. That's all I'm trying to say. So that's it. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss this place for a while, but I'll be back in, in December, right before hopefully I get to Canada, then hopefully I get back to South Africa. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. So that's all I have to say. And, um, I know Nala's going to miss out uh, early. That's the other thing I started, Instagram while I was here too. So I started with these early morning, just, just to test out that less than 30 seconds, less than 15 seconds, whatever it is. So that was interesting to do that. And then that had to end this this morning or yesterday morning because you know, in, we're in the Northern Hemisphere, so it gets dark. But I've been doing this other series where it's like a more, like right now, I just ramble here. I just rant. But the, the Instagram one, uh, it's less than 10 minutes, but I try to be more precise and and slow and enunciate and have a really a talking point. And I usually introduce it with a, I, I use all, all my uh, bona fides. Yeah, because I used to um, do music. When I say do music, uh, like I did a, a national program where they had these, uh, they had heavy topics in between. I'd have to play one, one, one minute, like little you know, bridges, whatever happy. I always try to pick, I never start at the beginning of the record. I always try something that, that, that punctuate whatever they were saying for their little 20 minutes. My little 30, my little 60 seconds or less would be more powerful than they were saying for their 20 minutes. You get the point in my little 60, you, you don't get, don't worry about it. This is a, this, this is a background engineering thing <laughs> like that. So is that it? That's all I have to say. See you again sometime. Well, uh, I'll be in New York. I have my set in New York. So that'll be whatever. And then when I get to Virginia, I have another set. So we'll, you know, when I say set, I mean, you know, that this is a set. We call it a set. <laughs> my, what do you call it? Um, what is set direct, decorated? In, like in film, when you have the set decoration, you know? Talk about, no mind, okay. That's it. Look, that's it for me. T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. Letting you know everything I suspect. And you know, you know, you know, have a, you know, I'll see you again sometime. You know, vote. You know, but have fun. Big time fun. <laughs>